Accordion blocks display text content in a collapsible sections. There are such a great options for text-heavy websites because they provide a lot more structure and a less cluttered, clean look. They are perfect for frequently asked questions, showcasing your process or offers, or wherever you want your audience to have the control to show and hide sections that are relevant to whatever they're searching for. Here are a few quick little layouts using accordion blocks and native Squarespace features without using any code. To add an accordion block, we will need to go into the edit mode, select add block and find our accordion. If you can't find it, you can always type it in here in the search. Our accordion block will appear instantly and if we click on the little pen icon here, we will find further accordion block settings. You'll see a pop-up window appear with two different tabs, so one is for content and one is for design. You'll see all of your content displayed here, and as you click on each one, you can edit your title and your description separately. You can also add new items and delete, of course, if you don't need them. And to change the order, all you need to do is drag these six little dots here on the right and place your item in your desired order. So content-wise, it's pretty straightforward. Now let's explore the design tab. First, we have our text settings. You can change your title to either your heading or your paragraph font. Now, of course, this will depend on whatever settings you have under your font styling. You can also choose the alignment of your title as well as your description. You can adjust the width of your text and by clicking the three little dots you can always set a custom option. Then we have our padding and placement of the text. Moving down to the design aspect, you can choose to expand your first item or allow to have multiple open items. Otherwise, as soon as you open the second one, the first one will close. Dividers are the lines between each of your items, so you can choose to have them displayed or not. Here you can see you can choose if you want to show the first one, the last one, all of them, <laughs> none of them. And you can also adjust the thickness as well as the opacity. To change the color of your divider, you would need to do that from your site style settings under color. Next we can choose our icon, so you can either have a plus icon or an arrow and you can adjust the icon size as well as icon thickness and placement. Moving on to padding, so you can choose how much space there is between your items. You can choose from small, medium or large or set your desired spacing. Always try to have the same balance between top and bottom and left and right. Now another option we have is we can add background. This will appear as a square box behind our accordion block. You can also add a stroke and you can change the color of that right in here as well as the thickness. And you can also choose to have rounded corners and of course adjust the padding of the background as well. Now, because we don't want the double lines at the top and at the bottom, we can simply go and turn off our first and last divider to get that clean look. We can also make sure that our accordion block is aligned to the center. So we can also choose a blend mode of your background or set a blur. So you can either set a blur to the backdrop or to the element. This could come in hand if you wanted to achieve an effect such as this one, where we have a clear blurry background so our content is a bit more readable and accessible. If you want to use more accordion blocks in one section, you can simply just copy or duplicate your block. And as you'll see, most of the settings will transfer except for the dividers, so you can just go ahead and turn those off on this one as well. But all the text settings alignments will match your original. 
Now just to briefly touch on changing the colors of your accordion blocks, you can go under your side styles and colors, find whichever color theme you're using, and then the best way is just to click on the element you want to change. So we want to change divider stroke color here. I'm just going to make it something crazy so you can see here. So find your accordion block, and then here you have all the color settings. So you can change the divider color as well as the icon color. Just note that whatever changes you make here will apply to all sections that use this color theme. And that's all. I hope that was helpful. I hope you got some ideas for different layouts that you can create. And as always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments.